Hi guys, it's Zhang again from MoolahWise.com and in today's video we'll be discussing what are some other functions that IUL can be used for. And when I say IUL, what I'm referring to is a index universal life insurance program where your money is being indexed over time. IUL is one of the most flexible financial vehicles out there and when the IUL is structured properly and max funded, I believe it is the best financial vehicle out there. Again, that is only my opinion. I can show you in this video what are some other functions people have used their IUL besides supplementing their retirement income with tax-free money. Okay, so let's get into it. Below is a list that I've seen from various clients on how they've used their max-funded IULs for various functions in their lives that require money. I'll get into a handful of the financial functions more in depth throughout this video and how owning an IUL can be considered a dream financial solution because of its flexibility. The first money function I want to discuss is retirement planning. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that one of the first money functions you can use a IUL for is retirement. Why is it a great tool for retirement? It's a great tool for retirement because you can access your cash value tax free. And I always get this question, how come I can access the money tax free and before retirement age? And again, let's remind everyone why we can access this money tax free and before retirement age. For a more in-depth video of the three buckets of taxes, please watch my other video about the three buckets of taxes video explained. In the USA, there are only three buckets of taxes. The first bucket is what we call a tax now. The first bucket is what we call tax now. And this is some of the most popular accounts in the tax now buckets. The way this bucket works is that every year that you have money in these accounts, you will be taxed. The second bucket is what we call the tax later or tax deferred. In this bucket, just think of all your retirement accounts that aren't tax now but you will be taxed in the year you take it out and at the current tax rate. In the last bucket is what we call tax advantage or tax free or the tax never bucket. In this bucket everything in this bucket can grow tax free because you have already paid taxes on this money. IUL is located in this bucket. Why does it get special tax treatment? Uncle Sam can't force anybody to get life insurance but they understand that if one gets life insurance to protect their family, then their family won't become a burden to society if the main breadwinner suddenly goes to heaven without protection. Think about it. If your wife won't think about it, your wife won't need to go to uh, to go get any government's assistance, and your kids won't have to get any help from their college education. So, in exchange of you taking on this responsibility, they reward the owner with tax-free growth. Wouldn't you agree with me that having a pile of tax-free money in retirement, when you won't be able to work with supplement your income in retirement and in some IUL contracts you can even have living benefits such as long-term care rider where you can use for one's health reasons such as long-term care while you are still alive so not only does IUL provide a tax-free income when you will need it the most it can also be used for your health concerns before you die yep before you die no other financial vehicle out there can be used for your health I mean, sure, you could draw down your 401k to pay for your health concerns, but then you would run out of money a lot faster. Wouldn't you agree with me that health and taxes can eat away your money in retirement if you aren't prepared? Two major concerns of people reaching retirement, but it doesn't have to be this way if you owned a IUL. You could reference my other video about 401k versus IUL for a further discussion on this topic. Why not neutralize both concerns with a IUL? But we already know that it can be a great income supplement for your retirement. What else can it do? The next financial function a IUL can be used for is to save for college. If you are like me and my wife, you have kids that you want to send to college. Again, I know there's a great debate whether college is even necessary in today's world to be successful, but that debate is for another time. Whether or not my kids go to college, I just want to be able to have the funds to send my kids to college if they want to go to college. I'm a big proponent of having a plan for college savings because college can cost up to $200,000 for a four-year university depending on school, depending on the school your kid attends. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't have $200,000 lying around to send my kids to college. And since I don't have that kind of money, 
just lying around. I'd rather save that money slowly and consistently over time. I know the typical plan is to save inside of a 5 to 9 college savings plan. But do you know that savings money in a 5 to 9 college plan will actually count as an asset? Which goes into a formula to determine how much your family has to contribute for their college fund. Meaning that the more you have in the account, the more you'll have to contribute for the family's contributions portion. And less your family will get in terms of FAFSA. Here, let me show you in black and white why saving money in the 5 to 9 will count against you and your family. So if you Google FAFSA form, you'll come up on this form. And as you can see, it is for the year 2023, which means it's pretty relevant. And if you scroll down to page 9, you'll see this in black and white. So as you can see in the red, it states that the 5 to 9 will count as an asset, while money saved inside of a life insurance program doesn't. But I'm sure you're probably saying, then I could just take the difference from my 529 plan, even if it counts as an asset. Now that is a great idea, but what if your kid gets a scholarship and you have trapped all your money in a 529 plan that you can't take out without losing a 10% penalty because it wasn't spent on schooling? Or what if your kid doesn't see the value of college and doesn't want to go to college and now you have saved all this money in there for them? I mean, you could always gift this 529 money to someone else in the family to go back to school to avoid that 10% penalty. Are you and your wife going to go back to college so you don't lose that 10% penalty? Why not save your money in a, in a more flexible vehicle and it doesn't count against you like a IUL? Additionally, if your kid does get a free scholarship and you have saved all this money from them inside of an IUL, then you can just repurpose this money for other things like a down payment for a house or lick of cash to start a business after they get out of college. On the other hand, if all your kids' college fund is in a 529 and they don't use all this money during their college career because of scholarships, grants, etc. or whatever, then how will you get the rest of money out of the 529 without incurring a penalty? And the answer is you can't. Watch my other video about IUL versus 529 for a more in-depth discussion of this topic. Now, what are some other money functions that I can use an IUL for? Another money function that I've seen a IUL use for is estate planning. Since IUL is a life insurance program first, we have seen clients use their death benefits of an IUL for the estate taxes that their heirs will incur at their death. The IUL death benefit went to neutralize any estate taxes and any probate fees incurred during the transfer of wealth from one generation to the next. Okay, great. We've seen IUL as a tool for uh, retirement, college savings, and but what else can it do? Another function that the IUL can be used for is the real estate management. We've seen clients that own rental properties use their cash value of their IULs to replace leaking roofs or their rentals or to do remodels of their rentals. If you're going to pull the money out of a traditional 401k or slash IRA to replace the roof of your rental, then you would lose 10% if you're doing this before age 59 and a half. But in an IUL, you can take the money out before age 59 and a half for whatever reasons. Uh, yeah, there's some terms that apply, but it's pretty flexible. What other financial vehicle out there can you access your money before a certain age for whatever reason? The only financial vehicle that you can do that are cash value life insurance. Again, this is only my opinion, but the best type of cash value life insurance is a max funded IUL. Additionally, we have seen clients use their cash values of their IULs to make a down payment on a new house and not just for repairs and maintenance. So what else have we learned today? So a max funded IUL can provide many functions in your life that requires money. And we've only discussed four of the most popular uses of the IUL. See all the functions that we have seen with people that own IULs. Additionally, it is the only financial vehicle that can grow and accumulate tax-free. You could use it for whatever reason at any age tax-free. And when you die, it blossoms into a pile of tax-free money for your heirs. I challenge you to find another financial vehicle out there that can do two out of the three things that a IUL can do that I list out above. Okay, that's all I want to share today in today's video, and I hope you learned that owning an IUL will complete your financial portfolio and not compete against it. Why wouldn't you want a pile of tax-free money you can access for whatever reason at any age?
We have a mission of educating 1 million families on how money works, and we can't accomplish that goal without your help. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel to help us achieve that goal. If you have any other questions about money that I can answer in our next video, please text me at 415-385-9116 or email me at info at moolawise.com or learn more at moolawise.com. Thanks for listening and bye for now.